Let's show up. It's showing up on screen. Oops. Oh, wait, I didn't do anything. It's not showing. Fuck. Oh, that doesn't work. Maybe this one will work. No. Oh, wait, I didn't show on the screen. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Don't mind me being an idiot. <laughs> Anyway, it had a big quit button on the beginning. So big, yeah. Anyways. Quit the game to win. Oops. Escape and Alt F4 won't work either. Sure, there's a task manager, but that's cheating. The way you kill the process... That way you kill the process, not quit the game. What about that X button on the top right corner? Nope, but there must be a way to touch it. I think it just needs a friendly approach. Be gentle. Fucking fuck! Oh my god. Fuck! Okay, let's let's try some relaxing music. Hi, Aderna. Stay fucking still. I don't think it's working. No shit, it's not working. No, nope, that was. Let's try something else. I think we scared it off. No shit. Here, take this. It surely looks better. Wait, where to go? <laughs> I guess it's hiding somewhere. Maybe it's shot. It's a shy one. Try calling its name. I'm not shy. All right, try calling him by his name. I'm a she. Thanks. Fine. Would you please try calling her by her name? X, 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 X. Oh, we got it. I mean, her. Now click on I her. I did it! Did we just win? Oh crap, I guess we didn't. <laughs> Here we go again. Sorry, the most relaxed, relaxing music. Fuck off. We are so close. Wait, I have an idea. When the lights went off, I think I saw something. A switch... There's looks like a switch behind the title. A circuit breaker, not the console. And anyway, we try moving the title down on this text box. Off. So that was the main power switch. What's that dangling thing? What dangling thing? Oh, this. There's a blinking light now. Look, another one. And another. <laughs> What's going on? Quit the game to win dining exit. Wait, don't touch that button. I just realized something important. Killing the process is quitting the game. And that means I'll cease to exist. How could you push that button? <laughs> How could you kill the process? You actually think I care? After all the time we spent together. After all the challenges we faced. How could you kill me? I'm a murderer. You just ask Snapchat. You just ask my chat right here. On um, how many times I've murdered people for no reason. Right? Haven't I done that multiple times? Right, chat? Hmm. 
Yeah. Over a hundred thousand. Yes. <laughs> I'm on a watch list. You really think I care? <laughs> okay, fine. I won't interfere with your choices. Did you really think it was that simple? Nobody's gonna kill me. You're not gonna win this game. I will win this game. How? I will quit the game. Wait, what? <laughs> the game closed. <laughs> oh my gosh, the game closed itself. See if this works. Yeah. Also, I just realized my OBS is like super fucking tiny now. Because of that window thing. There we go. Now it's much bigger. I like my things really nice and big. <laughs> there is nothing here. Warning, contains flashing lights and loud noises. Headphones recommended. For a second there, I thought this was the game I already played, but now it's different. There's an arrow telling me to go this way. Why can I not go in here? Oh, that's... Yes! I can watch other people take shits! You made it, main menu. What? Okay, so let's not follow the arrows. Let's do the- Oh, it's different. That was not there before. I excuse you. I- Oh, it's my head. It is This is exactly the headphones I have. Right here, it's black headphones that really aren't good on your ears. They're they're hurtful after a while. I really need to get new headphones. Especially since they're broken. They made it. Um This is different. Oh, yay, we got the red light. Oh. Oh. They have scratch marks. Oh, that's a, that, the gravity is not very big here. Okay. Oh, someone's taking a shower. Don't mind if I do and interrupt. Oh. I wanted to join them in the shower. Find a key. Oh. Hi! You enjoy your shower? I mean, that's one way to go to bed. Oh, hi. I'll fuck you later. They do nothing. There's something here. Leave. Hit the leave button. You cannot leave. I am not finished. Do not worry. There is nothing here. Yeah, I highly doubt it. Oh, that's great. I can't even leave that way. I can barely see. Oh, a key. Oh, nothing's gone. Uh, okay, the stairway's gone. Oh, can't go up there.
something. Find a key. Jerry, where did you put my keys? Oh, now it's telling me to go this way. Head upstairs. Jerry, where did you put my key to an orgy room? I need to know. For reasons. <laughs> How many fucking stairs are there? Oh. I don't want to go in there yet. Staff only. Headphones recommended. Warning contains flashing lights. Oh. It's the TV. Running. I didn't. I'm staff. I made. Help make the game. Totally. There's no need to kill me. You can fuck my ass though. See where I'm supposed to go. Oh, Jesus Christ! God damn it! Right, bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I like that game. That was a good. You lost. I didn't go into. Next game, Paranormal Entities. Let me see if it has a Twitch category. Does it have a Twitch category or will I have to do just chatting again? Also, is it too loud? Let me know because I can turn it down. I'm just going to turn down by 10%. Just in case. Alright. Paranormal Entities. You are Cliff, a college student who, who is a brand new freelance cameraman in the show Paranormal Entities. The second rated ghost investigation show on a hunting and outdoors cable network. You have been hired to inspect St. Augustine Asylum for the mentally ill. Oh yeah, I get to burn it down. You, you'll go... To, into this facility, follow the uh, producer's instructions through the radio earpiece, keep your camera on, and try to make contact with the spirits aside. If nothing happens, you'll get your five hundred dollars on your own time. If you manage to get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera. Camera. It, it, it's common that, that I you're missing part of the whatever. I hit I hit start game. Oh god, this game's already lagging. Alright, Clint, uh, Cliff, 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 welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are, and when you're ready, Enter Why, hello there. I'm sorry. Nice, the door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So, here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, 
closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place Damn. was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and they disappeared. Oh, it's not like mo most mental asylums. Got it. American Asylums. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, slaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Be careful where you step. Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Speak and I'll give you a free blowjob. Okay, play that back. Also get free blow jobs. Now into this microphone. All right, check that. Now into this microphone. All right, let's try one more spot. <sighs> Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss off. Yeah, that was a good idea. Who wants a blow job? So I'm about to get some demon dick. I forgot where they said I had to go.
Pretty sure it's not here. It's probably the room I was next to before I walked in here. Oh, I can't go back. That's great. This is the entrance to patient cell 200 through 219. We're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. I just had to click on doors. Spirits inside this asylum, we know that you're here. We release you from your restraints. My pussy is also open for you to fuck. Again. This person is no longer shielded oh. from the realm of the dead. You may be seen, interact, and manipulate him in any way as you see fit. I'm sorry, what? I mean, you can fuck my ass, but you can't take my body. Are you saying? Are you saying there's something wrong with me getting demon dick? Don't kink shame me, Darna. That's wrong. Can't run. My character refuses to run. All right, get out of this hallway and then take a take your second right. Damn it! Damn it! Oh, okay, there's a there's a staircase. Take this staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next. A fire escape, you should be able to get out that way. So, so go up the staircase. Look, where's the staircase? I don't know where the staircase is. Oh, there it is. I love how he, now he's worried about me. It's locked, bud. Oh, okay, we need to... Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Hold on, hold on. 
That staircase wasn't there before. This place doesn't even have a basement. What the... What, what is going on? Gas chamber. Alright, alright, just... I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. Judas Craz Cradle, the bronze and bull, the boat. I know what the bronze and bull was, but I don't know about the other two. The Judas Cradle and the boat. I'll have to look that up later. They're probably torture methods. We see, we see, we see. Oh, that's great. Surgery. Guess I gotta head back. You can tell it got me. Fuck. I was about to punch my monitor. <laughs> since, <laughs> since my first reaction when I'm scared, I punch things. Oh my god. <sighs> my first instinct is f it's fight. Oh god. Team hydrate. Yeah, I'll hydrate. <sighs> I hydrated Adurna. Wait a minute, what? No eyes, don't see. Oh. There's something invisible blocking me right here. <coughs> Jeez, I think that scare that that scare activated my bronchitis a bit. Okay, now what? I'm just stuck in this fucking hallway. Oh, what the fuck? That didn't get... And there's nowhere else to go. Alright, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kinda hid this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that 
Clyde was more than just a mere man, and uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day. You know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night, he never saw the beeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork, and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free, he was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesights, too. His pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Damn flashlight broke. I can't use that anymore. No idea where I'm going. I can't see. Goddamn doors. But darn am I dead? What? Oh crap. You got a choice. Either he gets you, or you're you're gonna have to cut him out. Oh, you dick. Sorry. No prison reviewable. Yeah, that was a good game. It was only made in 10 days. That's actually impressive. It's actually impressive you only made this in 10 days.